This extension's code coverage feature uses the jcovr Python package, which is included in the extension's requirements text file and installed during install tutorial as part of this extension ESP IDF debug adapter Python requirements when following the configure ESP IDF extension command. Your project should be configured to generate GCDA or GCNO coverage files using jcov. You can read more about jcov in ESP IDF projects using the link in the description. We will be using the ESP IDF jcov example for this tutorial since it's already configured to generate the GCDA and GCNO files. Open command palette and type show examples project and choose use current ESP IDF path. If you don't see the option, please review the setup in install tutorial. A window will be opened with a list of projects. Go to the system section and choose the Jacob example. Click create project using example Jacob button. Select the container directory where to copy the example project. This new project directory will be created and opened in Visual Studio Code. Select the port of your device by clicking its icon in the status bar. Then select an expressive target. The default is ESP32 and the one used in this tutorial. If you're not using the Jacob example, now you should configure your project using the configure project SDK config for coverage command as explained in the Jacob documentation at step 5. Now, build and flash your project and monitor your device as explained in the basic use tutorial. If everything is executed properly, there will be a message in ESP IDF monitor saying ready to dump Jacob data. Next step is to launch OpenOCD and send some commands. To start OpenOCD from the extension, execute the ESP IDF OpenOCD manager command or from the OpenOCD server button in the Visual Studio Code status bar. Launch a new terminal and execute Telnet localhost 4444. Latest macOS users can use NC localhost 4444 if Telnet is not in the system. These are the default values of the OpenOCD host and port. If you have different values, make sure to use the proper ones. Once you've connected to the host, send the OpenOCD command ESP Jacob dump for two hard coded dumps based on this example. Then send the ESP Jacob command for instant runtime dump. After dumping the data, open the desired file in your editor and execute add editor coverage command to highlight the editor with code coverage. If you want, you can customize the highlights colors as explained in the documentation at step 10. If you want to remove the highlights, simply use remove editor coverage command. Now, let's generate an HTML report using get HTML coverage report for project command. <laughs> 